HSL, HSL, HSL. But what is HSL and how can we use it? HSL is a collaborative tool that is present in Photoshop, Capture One, Lightroom, Camera, and almost any editing software or any editing application you can ever think of. Now back to our question, what is HSL? So let me know in the comment section before you watch this video to the end, let me know what is HSL if you already know. I'm going to use Photoshop to illustrate what HSL simply is and how you can use it. So I'm just going to delete this layer right here and click on my adjustment layer right here in Photoshop. If you cannot find adjustment layer right here, just come to your windows, click on adjustment layer so you can set it anywhere you want. So I'll click on my hue and saturation right here. So this is my HSL tab inside of Photoshop. So HSL simply means hue, saturation, and lightness, or hue, saturation, and luminous. Let me break it down even more. The hue in HSL simply means the color itself. It means the particular color of the image. So you can see right now, this color right here is green, and this one right here is kind of red, and this one right here is purple, and this color right here is yellow. So I can use the hue, which is the particular color, to change the colors of the image. So that's what hue is for you can actually use hue to change a particular color of the image so if i just click on this master right here and click on the yellows since i know it's the yellows or if i don't already know it's yellows i can just click on this hand tool right here and just pick the yellows right here and if i move the hue of this yellow it's just going to change the colors of the yellow in the image so if i just move the hue right now you can see the whole colors of the yellow right now is changing so you can see it's actually changing the whole colors of the yellows in this image so if I just move it to this side a little bit, I want to change it to, let's say I change it to pink. If I just show you before and after, you are going to see that it has changed the yellow of this image. So the before and the after. And the reason why it's affecting the face is because skin too consists of yellows. But you can just mask it out later if you want to do that. So let me just reset it. And also if I want to change the greens of this image, I can just pick my hand to pick out to right here, click on the greens and just move the shield like this to change the greens of the image like that as you can see right now so all the greens of the image is going to change like that so it's just going to change the whole greens on the image and also if i want to change this color right here i can just click on it i just going to try just play with the hue it's just going to change the hue of that color right there and the reason why it's still affecting the skin tone is because it's orange and it's affecting the skin tone as well so basically you can change it like this if you want so that's for the hue so let me just reset it now let's come to the saturation saturation simply means the intensity of that particular color in the image so let's say i want the um intensity of this yellow to be much i can just come to the saturation and just increase the saturation once i come to my yellows i just increase the saturation of the yellows right there I just going to increase the intensity of the overall yellows on the image. So right now you can see the skin tone, the same intensity of the yellow right there has increased. Also the intensity of the yellows right there on this headset and the dress, it has increased. So if I just take it all the way down, I can reduce the intensity of the yellows in the image. So taking the saturation up, increase the intensity of a particular color. While taking the saturation down, reduce the intensity of a particular color. So that's for saturation. And not just the yellow, you can do it for any colors of the image. So let's select the green and just increase the saturation of the green. You can see it's making the green look more intense. So the before and the after, just look at the green. And not just that, you can use any color you want. Let's use this color right here. Let's see on this um, color right here and just increase the saturation. You can see it's increasing the intensity of that particular color in this image. So let me just reset it. Alright, so that's for hue and saturation. Now, what about lightness or luminosity? So lightness simply means how bright you want a particular color to be or how dark you want that particular color to be. So let's say I want the yellow of this color to be bright. I can just come back here, pick the yellows, pick the yellows on the image and just increase the lightness to make it light. And I can just take it down to reduce the brightness to make it dark like that. And not just the yellows, you can do it for any part of the image. So let's say I select this green right here. I can increase the lightness of the green like this and I can decrease it as well to make it dark. And not just that, I can select this color right here, increase the lightness and decrease the lightness to make it dark. And it's affecting the skin too because skin too consists of that particular color right there. And remember, you can always 
mask it out so basically the same method we use in photoshop you can use it in lightroom you can use it to capture one you can use it in camera i believe right now you know what hsl is and also how you can use it if this video was helpful to you make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and also learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative